The latest we can talk to our correspondent in Hong Kong, Oliver Farry. Oliver, first of all, tell us a bit about what happened in court today. Well, it was the end of a marathon four-day hearing, which uh, was actually quite chaotic. Um, four of the 47 defendants actually uh, had to be brought to hospital from exhaustion and other health problems. Um, 15 of the 47 were granted bail by the court. Uh, there was no uh, reason given because Hong Kong law does not actually allow any more than the most basic details be divulged uh, in bail hearings because uh, out of fear of preju prejudicing um, court cases at a later date. Um, however, th those 15 will be spending the next two nights in prison along with the other uh, 32 because uh, the Hong Kong government has um, appealed against the decision. So that will be heard on uh, most likely on uh, Sunday. So um, we will. it will be until then uh, uh, they have to spend another couple of nights in prison. Among the 15, they're not uh, the more high profile of the um, of the 47, and most of those, the 32, are actually uh, lawmakers, some of them quite high profile, and also Joshua Wong, who is, uh, in any case, serving a 13-month prison sentence for on a separate charge at the moment. Oliver, what is likely to happen next for this group? Well, they, um, there will be... Uh, uh, in court for the second uh, mention of this national security uh, law case. It's, they're charged with subversion. They were arrested on the 6th of January. They will be appearing in court on the 31st of May regardless, and not just not simply uh, the 47 of them, but there's another eight who were also arrested in January. Um, they, um, in the meantime, they cannot uh, take part in any elections. There are unlikely to be any elections in that time. Um, they cannot also um, have any contact with foreign governments or foreign legislators. And that has been a, <clears throat> a, 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 a charge levelled against the pro-democracy movement that they are colluding with foreign governments. Um, some other people like Jimmy Lai have actually been charged with that. And also, they, they could, uh, of course, they were up um, for subversion because they organised um, a primary last July in the hope of getting an overall majority in the city's legislative council. This is what the, the Chinese and Hong Kong governments are holding against them. Uh, the China's uh, National People's Congress is this week uh, going to table a motion to uh, improve Hong Kong's uh, electoral system, which will probably make um, the legislative council bigger and uh, more than likely will uh, have particular demands of uh, fealty and loyalty levelled at anyone who is uh, planning to take up a seat. Um, just recently, the Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office of the Beijing government said that only patriots should rule Hong Kong. So it's quite likely that the pro-democracy movement could find themselves completely shut out of any political representation in Hong Kong in the near future. Oliver Farry, thank you very much uh, indeed.